So what goes in this blood, in that intestine, directly goes into the bloodstream. What goes in the intestine directly goes in the bloodstream. The reason I repeated it, because it bears repeating. This means that anything that goes in there. So now this is the radical new. This is when I start telling you the world is round and it's not flat. No longer are you going to go to the doctor and they say, oh my gosh, you've got protein in your blood. You've got some type of kidney problem. No longer will you go to the medical doctor and have them say, oh my gosh, you've got sugar in your blood. This means your pancreas isn't working right or your diet's incorrect. We got to do another test to find out if you've got type 1 or type 2 diabetes. That's all foolishness. We're not going to do that stupid stuff anymore. You're not going to go get a blood test and have high lipids and say, oh my gosh, you got cholesterol. It must be hereditary. No, that's all stupid stuff. What we're going to now look at, if you've got high protein, you have uh, in the bloodstream, and this is a blood test, you don't have kidney disease, you've got undigested proteins in the blood. This means your body is not working correctly. Without enzymes, you can't digest that food. That's why it's living food. There's a radical difference between live food and dead food. This is living food. Why? You saw it. It was in the ground just a little while ago. In fact, I could take this, I could put it in the ground. What would happen? It would grow. I get a friggin' forest of these. There's a tremendous amount of energy in this. If you put a Big Mac in the ground, what happens? It rots. By gosh, you ought to see what it does in your intest in your stomach. High lipids. They're gonna say heart disease and stroke. That's not true. It means you have undigested fats in there. This means you got a problem with how your body breaks down and alkalizes this so you can't utilize it. If you've ever been taking fish oils or the Udo's oil, okay, if you're a vegetarian, which is friggin' phenomenal oil. Thanks, I know. <laughs> if you're taking oils that are essential and that are really good for you and, and it upsets your stomach, it means you have a problem with processing fats, which means you're at risk of cancer, which means you're at risk of hair loss, you're at risk of bad skin disease because you can't process those. Now, now, who's tried who's tried um, the the green one? Green. You like like who's tried the red and green? Just the red so far. Yeah. You like the green so far? I'm waiting for the green. I like the red. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. It it's it's pretty good. And this, we already showed you a clip last week of six people that were having insulin dependent diabetes, went through raw food, and this is raw. This doesn't take long, and it tastes good. Okay, 30 days, they were cured of diabetes. This is, Gabriel Cousins wrote a book on it. Undigested nutrients create toxic blood. Again, undigested nutrients create toxic blood. The healthier body is dependent on the healthier blood. So, if you have, because you've got to remember, we're reading these blood tests in a different way. If you have high protein, high lipids, high sugars, it means that your blood is poisonous, not that you have an organ dysfunction. Okay, maybe if you got shot in the organ or something. But we're looking, we're looking for a problem. Like that 400 pound trucker. He had kidney damage. But was that kidney doing the best it could with the poisonous products that he was putting in the system? Did his kidney repair itself? Yes. Did he have a healthy colon? No, it did the best it could with the poisonous blood that he had. Did it repair colon cancer when he got appropriate blood? Do you see the correlation here? You're, come on, now say it with me. Wow, that's the first time I ever heard this before. So this is just undigested sugars or unutilized sugars and fats and proteins, and that causes toxic buildup and disease. And welcome to the standard American diet. 90% of what we buy is processed. That means it's devoid of enzymes. If it's devoid of enzymes, you're devoid of enzymes. 90%. What kind of chronic diseases are we talking about? Cancer, 50% of our population. Diabetes, a third. Okay? And if it's too spicy for some, I'm really sorry if it's not spicy enough. I, would, I really wanted to make it spicier. It's not spicy enough. Oh, God bless you, my brother. Oh, it kills me to just skimp on the spices. Okay, yeah. You should put at least a handful of jalapenos in there. Oh, God. I see why you love them. They're vasodilators. 
The reason that they're putting poisonous products on here, because the FDA is messing up, they're not giving us appropriate products. The reason they're doing it is because it, it, it caters to industry and we get longer shelf life. You remove the digestive enzymes from the food, it lasts longer on the shelf. You're doing such a fantastic job. Thank you, miss. Okay, now food products were labeled honestly. Heart disease spread, colon cancer dogs. Do you realize that there's so many nitrates in a hot dog you are absolutely guaranteed to develop prostate problems? It's not even a guess. You're guaranteed. It's, it's it, the acrylamide chips, zero nutrition puffs, obesity puffs. Let's look at high fructose corn syrup. Oh, now this. We, my son went snowboarding. He met a group of Australians. They happened to be Australian uh, flight attendants. And they said they were shocked that every other commercial was for either fast food or drug, fast food or drug, fast food or drug. That's when the light bulb went on my, my head because I don't watch commercial TV. If you eat this, you're going to need this. <laughs> but now, let's look at that. The health of your body is dependent on the health of what? Your blood. Do you put this stuff in your blood? Now let's just look at this. The heartburn, the prilosec, the proton pump inhibitor. Is that specific for the organ? Does it only go to the stomach? Or does it get in your intestine, in your liver, in your heart, your kidney, your spleen, your brain? Side effects may be what? God knows. We don't know when you start doubling these up. The cholesterol drugs, we know they cause cancer and heart disease and everything else. But all of these are prescribed, except for the depression and the heartburn one, they're prescribed generally on either symptoms or a blood test, and that's crazy. Anything you put in this has to go through this system, into the intestine, into the bloodstream. So anything you put in your mouth, this is so empowering. You can radically change what your life is. That man, Dave, rid eliminated cancer from his body. Okay, there we showed last week diabetes again, heart disease again. So this is so radically important, including medications. Anything that goes in the system is going to cause a good effect or a negative effect. This is enzyme rich, healthy, raw food. It doesn't suck, does it? Okay, good. You forgot to mention creams and oils and your screen getting blood screen. Yeah, yeah. And and plus two, if you have any creams or oils, if it says for topical use only, throw it away. Because anything you put on your skin gets in your bloodstream. Now, high fructose corn syrup. This is the number one source of calories in America. Ketchup is loaded with high fructose corn syrup. It's not a vegetable. Nancy Reagan was wrong. Okay, if you, if you look at every package, every package product, corn is in it. Um, we have in our lending library, Food Inc. If you have not seen Food Incorporated, please take a look at it. A third of our agricultural land on this planet is for growing corn, or in America is for growing corn. Right. The reason is for cattle food, mainly, but also it's used in virtually every product around. High fructose corn syrup. Now here's the American Society of Nephrology. These are kidney experts. They say that a dietary, uh, the fructose, um, increases the risk of high blood pressure. The findings suggest that cutting back on processed acidic foods and beverages that contain high fructose corn syrup may prevent high blood pressure. I'm sorry, let's look at this another way. What does high fructose corn syrup do to the blood? Makes it acidic, exactly. And that's what they're saying. If you make it acidic, does that mean that it increases cancer risk? Has anyone seen a cancer warning on, 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 on uh, soda bottles? Nope, it should be. This is how you know, because if you're, if you're gauging, am I eating healthy enough? Okay, this is like kind of the guide to where you can say, I can change now, I can change now, good gosh, I've got to change immediately. First off, if you have low energy, acne or body odor, what's acne? That's your body trying to exude um, poisons. Body odor, respiration, perspiration, poop and peep. That's the only way that you can eliminate toxins. So if you, if, if, when you go in the restroom, if somebody says, God, don't, don't go in there for a while. <laughs> okay, it's pretty bad. You've got toxins in your system that you're trying to eliminate. It shouldn't be eye-watering. Okay, irritation, and this, this is a progressive level of deadly. Okay, irritation, irritable bowel, constipation, and diarrhea. This means the body has materials inside of it that it doesn't, it, it, it's